Hello, I'm John Maurer, Artistic Director of MP on Stage, and in today's case study, we'll be talking about creating a full-sized prop potbelly stove that is lightweight and stores easily. MP on Stage produced The Foreigner in January 2005 at the Kelsey Theater in West Winds, New Jersey. As you can see from the photo, we went with a realistic style for the production, and we wanted this to carry over into the props as well. As part of the set, we needed a full-size potbelly stove. As it turns out, well, they're kind of expensive. And if you can find one, they're very heavy and tough to move. So we decided to make a prop one that was lightweight and could store easily. When I need to build a prop, my first thought is, can I do this as a ready-made? Meaning, have I seen anything that might be close in shape and size to what I'm trying to make? And can I get this item cheaply and modify it to make it work. Traditionally, as a prop maker, I would create a frame from wood then cover it to make the basic form. But for this project, I went to my local hardware superstore and got these items. Two large plastic flower pots that have a bell-like shape and some interesting decorative features on them. One small plastic storage bin and two large plastic flower pot bases. We will also need to make four legs. The cheapest way that I thought to do this was to use some scrap 2x4 lumber and cut them out using a template. So I traced a template on some thin wood, then traced it out onto the scrap of 2x4 and cut them out using a bandsaw. Add to this a piece of 3 quarter inch ply that fits inside the storage bin and we have all the main components for the stove. Okay, let's start assembling. First we need to assemble the base. Take the 3 quarter inch board and screw the 2 by 4 legs into it. Then put the plastic storage bin upside down over the legs. Put a few screws in it to keep the assembly together. Next is what makes this prop a ready made in my eyes. You just need to stack the pieces together to make the basic shape. From the top down, it's the thin plastic flower tray upside down on top of the thick plastic flower tray. Then the two large flower pots, one upside down on top of the other. Then the whole thing on top of the base assembly. Just add a few screws to hold it all together. Now it's time to add some detail. A real potbelly stove has two doors one on the top section to add wood and coal and one below to remove the soot. Because the door had to be curved I made these out of craft foam. I stacked up several sheets of craft foam on a curved surface with glue between them. When the glue dried I cut them into a door shape. I needed to make vents in the top door to add realism so I took some mason jar lids and cut some foam to fit inside them. The lids were then glued to the doors. I could have just glued the lids to the solid door, but I intended to put some lights inside the stove to make it look like it was lit up, and I wanted the lights to show through the vent holes. Now it's time to add a little color. We started by painting the stove flat black, then used a flecked stone paint to add texture. The final step was drilling holes in the top to let the lights show through the vents and then attaching the top and bottom doors. And there you have it, a potbelly stove that is not only lightweight, but can be stacked together for easy storage. Well, I hope this case study was helpful and that it will keep you on the lookout for other shapes that could be used to build ready-made props. If you have any tip or trick that you'd like to share as a case study, just email me at casestudy at mponstage.com. I'm John Maurer, Artistic Director of MP on Stage. Thanks for watching.